Let us do some more uh, simple activities and we can study the shape of the uh, soap, uh, soap films. If you dip the shapes inside the soap film, soap solution, what will be the shape? First let us take the a cubical frame. Now, if you dip this in soap solution, what will be the shape of the soap film formed by the layers? And you can expect the soap films will be formed on the sides. No. If you do this experiment, you can get a shape like this. So, membranes are not formed on the sides or side faces all the soap films will be soap film layers will be in contact with each other. Okay. Now, let us try one more shape this is called a pyramidal frame or tetrahedron shape. So, it is just like a, a triangular in base and it is there is one more vertex it is called a pyramid or it is in the form of frame uh, pyramidal frame and uh, the shape will be a perfect point will be formed at this a point point of intersection of the layers all the layers will be in contact with each other and this is another example pyramidal with the circular frame then you take two intersecting circular frames okay this is one surface this is another surface two circular frames are perpendicular to each other and if you dip this in soap solution the shape will be like this a very interesting uh, a figure will be formed at the middle. Similarly, you take a helical frame you form a helix just like your spring helix and the you have a wire at the axis of the helix a helical film will be formed as shown this in this diagram. So, in all these cases the films tend to keep into contact with each other and to form figures of minimum surface area. So, in all these cases due to surface tension it occupies it tends to occupy minimum area. So, in which figure it is possible and that will be taken in a beautiful figures as we have seen in these activities. The soap films tend to keep the shape of the smallest energy. So, it occupies a minimum area that is with minimum energy.